This week in grammar, we're going to take a look at superlative adjectives. Throughout the week, we will produce complete sentences using superlative adjectives. Class, what will we do this week? Nice job. When we talk about superlative adjectives, we're focusing on the part of speech adjectives, specifically adjectives that tell what kind. If our adjective has two syllables or less, we're going to add EST to the end of our adjective. If our adjective has more than two syllables, we're going to add the word most in front of our adjective and leave it as is. Some irregular superlative adjectives are good to best, bad to worst, some or many to most, and little to least. Think in your head, why would we use superlative adjectives? That's right, we use superlative adjectives to compare more than two nouns. When we want to write a sentence using a superlative adjective, there's two formulas that we need to keep in mind and follow. The first formula is for those adjectives that have two syllables or less. The formula looks like this, noun, to be verb, the, adjective with the EST ending, of all, and then the group of nouns that's being compared. An example of Formula One would be, Samantha was the tallest of all the students in her class. The second formula is for those adjectives that have more than two syllables. Formula two looks like this, noun, to be verb, the, most, the adjective, of all, and then the group of nouns being compared. An example of this formula would sound like this. In Arizona, July and August are the most humid of all the months. Throughout the week, as you work on your grammar activities, remember to review the preview chart each week. You can review the chart within your slides or you can also look back and watch the video again whenever you need to.